So hi guys, in last videos I've showed you how React works under the hood and why is it important for us. And in today's video I will show you the first step in building React application. Before we can actually start with our application, we need to choose a tool that will help us with development. If I'm not counting React frameworks, we have two options that we can choose from. The first one is called Create React App or also known by its short name CRA and the second one is called Weed. First I will start with Create React App which is this one. So what is it and why we need it? As I said before, React is just a library. It's not like other frameworks like Angular for example that is package of everything. We need to set up everything by ourselves. But, of course, it's not efficient to set up everything by ourselves for every project, every time. So, smart guys created this tool that helps us with that. It sets all configs, so we can just focus on building application and don't need to even bother with any configuration. So now, exactly what does it do? First, it installs all of the dependencies that we would need to install by ourselves. This means React, React Domain Slint, then it installs Chest, which is environment for running tests. Also, it installs Webpack, which is JavaScript bundler, and Babel, which is JavaScript transpiler, and other dependencies, which I will cover in different video. It also creates local server, so we can run our application locally and see all of our changes. And the way it works is it first bundle all of our code into one JavaScript file with Webpack and then this JavaScript file can be provided to our local server. And the way Webpack works is this. When we create our React application, we will have multiple JavaScript modules in multiple JavaScript files. So module one, module two and module three. I have horrible handwriting, I know. <laughs> And now what Webpack does, it creates bundle from all of this and bundles it to one JavaScript file. And then this JavaScript file is served to our local server. And also in this process, Babel has its role. It transpile new modern TypeScript with imports and so on to old JavaScript and all of this needs to be done every time you run your local server and also anytime you do some change in your code. There are some optimizations so when you do change it's not as slow as for the first time when you just run a local server. This Create React App tool has been around for a really long time, so it is heavily battle-tested and reliable. But the problem with this solution is that it was created before browsers supported JavaScript modules, and that is why it does all of the bundling that I just showed. The result of this is that when the project is getting bigger, it can take a really long time to see the changes on localhost. It is like this because it needs to bundle all of our code again whenever we make some changes. And this can be really unpleasant for developers to wait a few dozen seconds every time to see any change in localhost. And that is why Weed is here, which in my opinion is better solution and I would recommend using it instead of create React app. It is a new tool that has multiple advantages over CRA. The most important thing is that it was created when the browsers already supported ES modules. And this means it doesn't need to do all of that bundling. And here is how it works. We also have the modules. But instead of bundling them, Vit sends them directly to the browser and let the browser deal with it. And this means when we change something, only that part needs to be updated. As a result, it is super fast 
regardless of the application size because it doesn't need to bundle everything. It still needs to transpile TypeScript and other things to JavaScript, but this is also optimized for speed. Another great feature that has Veed enabled by default is hot module replacement. It means that when you change something in your application, it doesn't need to refresh the whole page so you can see the result. It only changes what you modified on that page without any refresh. Even the states are preserved, which is really cool. This feature can be also enabled in CRA applications in Webpack config, but it still can be really slow in large applications. Instead, with Weed, it's always instant. It is important to mention that all of this is only for development. It is created for better developer's experience. None of this will affect production. Even the speed will be the same. I will cover the difference between production and development more in a video dedicated to deploying application to production. Beside all of this, Reed has also some other advantages like support for SAS by default, plugins and some other things, which I will probably cover in some different video. And that is all for this video. I hope now you understand the difference between Weed and Create React app. And if you have any questions, don't be shy to ask in the comments and be ready for the next video.